So what exactly is the digital mayor? What does it mean? How do you become one? We'll answer all these questions right now. Being the digital mayor is where the community starts looking at you differently. It's where you go from being looked at as another salesperson to a community leader. Being the digital mayor is all about building your tribe. My passion is helping real estate agents grow their trust, authority, and local celebrity through marketing so you can attract better quality leads that won't want to work with anyone else. I'm Sebastian Malinowski, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Don't forget that ringy dingy belly thingy thingy button. If you don't hit that bell button, it's like you don't even exist. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about the digital mayor. What does that mean? Essentially, it means you need to grow a local following. You need to grow your tribe. The key to taking your real estate business to the next level is for everyone in the community to get to know you. And going back, just to give you a quick story, when I started rebuilding my real estate business years ago, I stopped focusing on making cold calls, essentially chasing leads one-to-one, -one, and I started focusing on different questions. And the biggest question I had was, how can I communicate to everybody in my community, how do I get the community to look at me, not as a real estate agent, but a community leader? And that's how I started creating my new real estate strategies, my new systems. This video will specifically talk about being the digital mayor. What does it take? What is that all about? And yes, it's to grow your tribe. But why do you grow a tribe? Why is it necessary for any real estate agent to grow their tribe? or essentially grow their local influence to be a micro celebrity in their city. I'll give you three examples, three names of people that you may know being in the real estate industry. Number one, Gary Vaynerchuk. Number two, Ryan Serhand. Number three, Tom Ferry. I figure I'd come up with some names that most agents are aware of. Let's talk about Gary Vaynerchuk first. Is he an influencer? Yes. Does he have a following or a tribe? Yes, a pretty big one. He is a business influencer and many real estate agents know him and follow him. Let's take a look at Ryan Serhand. He's the guy from Million Dollar Listing in New York. Does he have a following? Yes. Is he an influencer? Yes. He's a real estate agent out in New York, but, but, obviously his business is on another level. Why? Because he's got a huge following. He's an influencer. He's the digital mayor. He has a tribe. Now let's look at Tom Ferry. Most real estate agents know him as the real estate coach. Does he have influence? Yes. He has his own tribe. He has a following of real estate agents. So you can see how each one of these people have influence in one way. Gary Vaynerchuk in the business world, Ryan Serhand when it comes to local influence, he's an agent, and of course Tom Ferry, he has a following of real estate agents. So how does that apply to you? How can you take this concept and implement that into your business? Well, essentially you have to do the same thing. The quickest, the easiest way of doing that is to actually create connection content. I mentioned that in the very last video. Connection content is when you actually go out into the community and you interview, for example, a business owner or an entrepreneur. You set up your video camera and you have a quick 20, 30, 40 minute discussion and you record that. Then you take that content and you put it out online. This is going to start growing your local influence because now people aren't going to be looking at you as just another salesperson that is chasing a commission dollar. They will look at you as a local influencer, an authority, somebody that cares about the local community and the people that live in it, not just about selling homes. And when you're looked at as not just another salesperson, but somebody that cares about their community, that's when you start growing your tribe, your local influence. And here's the interesting thing that happens with this video. That local business owner takes that content and spreads it online on their social media platforms. And guess what? Now this other influencer, a business owner, is sharing you with the community. So instantly you get hundreds or thousands of eyeballs looking back at you. 
And that's how it grows. You create one video in exchange. You can get hundreds or thousands of eyeballs looking back at you and you keep doing that over and over. So you're leveraging the community to have a win-win situation. You're helping that business owner attract clients because now you're doing them a favor. You're marketing them and they're doing you a favor by spreading who you are to the community. Does that make sense? And that's how you grow your tribe. That's how you grow your local influence and become the digital mayor. Here's the bottom line. This is what it all boils down to. If you genuinely care about your community, your community will genuinely care about you. You have to be a leader and every successful leader has a following that does two things. Your tribe will promote you and protect you. Have you noticed online, let's take Gary Vaynerchuk for example, he will put out a piece of content and that content may spark, what's the word I'm looking for? Friction. That piece of content will create friction among people online. The true followers of Gary Vaynerchuk, they're going to protect him. They are going to defend him online. And you will see those comments on Facebook, for example. They'll protect him against the people that may not even know what Gary is all about. They're going to start bashing Gary online for whatever reason. We all see this happen online with all influencers. Your tribe will protect you because they know that you are there for them, to help them. Your tribe will also spread your content. Gary's content gets spread constantly. Love them or hate them, that's not what this video is about. I want you to see the point in this. That guy has massive influence, but you can also have the same influence in your local city. The concepts, the techniques are the same. And when you pay attention to what influencers are doing and actually bring that into your real estate business, which of course I show how to do in Tribe Agent, how to take somebody like Gary Vaynerchuk, see what they're doing, reverse engineer it so you can apply it to your business, that's really when your business will start to take off. But notice how this is the very last step. You have to have the foundation in place because when your community will, will start sharing your content, and they will start referring business to you, you have to make sure that your foundation or your systems are there already. Last thing you want is a flood of quality leads coming in because when you're being referred, those type of leads are obviously better quality. Last thing you want is to disappoint these people. Bottom line, if you wanna grow your tribe, be the digital mayor and start being looked at as a community leader, a community influencer, start caring about your community. Question of the day, do you know any real estate agents who are doing a great job in being the digital mayor in their community? If you do, please let me know who they are in the comment section below. I'm Sebastian Malinowski, that's it for today. Until next time, have yourself an awesome day. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe, bell, all that other good stuff, take care.